Now that brings us to the M320 or the new HK grenade launcher. Now here we go. What this does is this is a grenade launcher that is designed to be used standalone, as you see it right here. It has a retractable buttstock, it's fairly light in weight, has a pistol grip. Also, once again, hinge it open to the side. This allows you to use longer projectiles like flares and whatnot. And then when you close it, it has a double action style trigger mechanism with an ambit extra safety. The sights can be mounted on the left side or the right side, depending if it's a left or right-handed shooter. And like I said, it can be used standalone or you take the buttstock off and you can put it on a rail system similar to the RIS-2. Now it was primarily designed for a different rail. Daniel Defense is in the process of developing mounting attachments to take it to the RIS-2 because this gun has now been adopted by the U.S. military, the U.S. Army in particular, as the M320 to replace the M203. So what we've kind of got here finally is a grenade launcher that's very effective standalone like the M79, but unlike the M203, but is also easily integrated onto the soldier's carbine, like the M203, but unlike the M79. Took us a while to get there, but we've got it now. Pretty slick grenade launcher, actually the funnest one I've ever used. All right, HEDP with the HK. Got my hold off, see how I do. Oh yeah, baby. There's something about that boom, you know what I mean? When that thing goes off, that makes you proud to be an American, dog. Oh yes. Right between those targets, we've been wanting to do that from the start. I'll put this down and we'll go down and check the hits, yeah. First shot, guys, impacted right over here and scattered that way, and then I adjusted my aim a little bit, and here was my second shot, which is kind of what I was aiming for from the start to try to get it between these two. Notice the hits here. That's within arm's length of these two cat daddies, and you know, granted, they got holes in them, and I wouldn't want to be standing here, but you know, they're not nearly as shredded as you might think. Now, one thing I noticed right off the bat, I'm a big fan of the HK grenade launcher. I've shot a lot. I've also shot the 203. And I like the fact it's a standalone. You can take it off the gun and put a buttstock on it. I went back to the plastic quadrant sights on the HK and it's a severe disadvantage versus the spur mount that I have on my M203 and the aim point. That's the game changer for the M203 or the M320 or the HK grenade launcher as we know it. Being able to put a red dot sight on it, being able to use it in low light, different sighting conditions, daytime or whatever, Big game changer versus only using iron sights, or in the case of the HK, the plastic sights. Imagine going to combat with an M4 and you only have iron sights versus going to combat with an aim point on your M4. The same thing on the grenade launcher. Total game changer. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.